everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's find some news, baby. Let's find some news. Today we got five PC mods in testing, no console mods in testing. It's Fact Sheet Friday. The Farming Simulator 22 website has been updated. We got new giveaways starting this week. 82 Studio has a massive update to the TLX Phoenix. Ada Modding's putting lights in it. Farm Citrus Soul have an update for their F600 and for consoles. Emerson Modding's updating the GNU series. Pepe 978's got a new fact sheet for something he's doing. Plus, Vertex Design announced another mod pack coming to Farm Sim 22. Let's check it out. In Test C4 PC, we have the AgriLay 575 Brazil, Lizard 575 Brazil, New Holland 1037, Fent 916 930 TMS Sound, and Shed. With all that being said, we still have 21 mod city waiting to be tested. Goodness gracious! And supposedly, the current average waiting depth for newly submitted mods is one workday. I have my doubts. It's Friday, which means we've got a ton of stuff to talk about. So let's start with the new fact sheets that released today. We've got four new fact sheets showing off stuff that we've desperately been waiting to see. The Case IH Axle Flow 9250 Combine Harvester and the 3050 Terraflex 41 foot header. The Case IH Maxim AFS Connect Series and the Dimco 2200 Dual Auger Grain Card. Voucher Valman 8750 and the Farmax KRG250 Spader. And the McCormick X8 VT Drop and Lemkin Carrot 12500 KUA Cultivator. I've already made a detailed video showing these off, so if you want to see that, check it out, link below. Additionally, the farming Simulator 22 website has gotten an update today, revealing some highly desirable machines and equipment. I don't want to give away too much, but if there's one FarmSim 22 website update video that you watch, you definitely want to see the one I'm doing tomorrow morning. Additionally, you can check out the FarmSim 22 website right now. That link will be in the description. New giveaways continue as this week's giveaways are themed around PC players. This week, players can enter to win a copy of Farming Simulator 22 on PC. Three winners will be chosen where they'll be getting the base game and the pre-order bonuses. The giveaway is worldwide and anyone can join. This week's giveaways are sponsored by Dennis B and his wife. Huge thank you to both of them for their generosity for the community. If you entered last week's Xbox gift card giveaway, those winners are Christopher K, Chase H, and Sherry T. Big congratulations, y'all. Winners of all giveaways have seven days to claim the prize before the prize goes back into the rotation. And next week's giveaway, starting on November 5th, will be PlayStation gift cards. So stay tuned for those if you're on PS4 or PS5. A few days ago, A2 Studio went live and showed off the final version of the TLX Phoenix series for Farming Simulator 19. And included in that update will be a big addition to the X2 attachments. This new X2 flatbed attachment will be used like a normal flat trailer. So bales, things like that, they can be strapped down. But also be available to auto load different things like wool, eggs, and liquid fertilizer, just to name a few. This update is currently with Giants waiting testing for all platforms. Ada Monning is curious if you would like to see lights added to his shelter pack. He's got a straw poll up now, so you can enter that and let him know what you think. I personally think that all sheds should have lights because you never know when you're going to need them. Manual, not automatic. Manual lights are weird. I'm the guy that leads the lights on all the time, so you'd like to participate in a straw poll, like what? Earlier this week, the F600 was released on PC, and with it were some interesting color options. These have been fixed, and an update is already with Giants waiting to be tested. And additionally, a version for console players has been uploaded as well. So players on PlayStation and Xbox will soon be able to enjoy this awesome truck. I mean, come on, who doesn't want to drive around a big F600? Another mod being fixed is the Lizard GNU series from Hiverson Modding, which is getting an update to the Lizard GNU. 800 series to fix the worker bug. Hopefully all these updates will be here soon. Pepe978 has released a fact sheet video for his upcoming Upgo KF7300 in the style of the Farm Sim 22 fact sheets. Don't worry, he fooled me too. This is going to be found in subsoilers, costs you 13,500 bucks, requires 160 horsepower, has a working width of 3 meters at 7 miles per hour and 12 kilometers per hour, and weighs 2.1 tons if that matters, so you can get a um, 1,500 kilogram weight or a 2,000 kilogram weight you have almost the perfect weight distribution. My understanding is that this is already with Giant, so hopefully we see it soon. And if you want to get a closer look at this machine, turn to the channel Nico87 has released a video earlier this morning showing off. Check him out. Tell him DJ sent you. And lastly, today Vertex Design have released another mod pack that will be coming to Farming Simulator 22 from Brussels and Lade. This pack will include six pieces of equipment, some of which won third place in the Farming Simulator 19 mod contest, which is really cool. This pack will include the L67 and L71 high tip buckets, the L16 and 17 high volume buckets, the L80 funnel bucket, the H40 big bag carrier, and 
more. And I've got more segues to the outro. Unfortunately, they never showed up. They got lost in the post or something. So uh, all we have is this one today. Sorry, just like every episode of our news, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, myself, nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of this project. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the news video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the Gohan fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Today is the Farm Sim Show. It is back. It's here on the DJ Goham Gaming channel. So make sure you stay tuned for that. It's just me and Clutch today. But we got a lot to talk about. I'll be back. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you. Feels like forever since we did a Farm Sim News video. Almost forgot how to do this thing.